Hello there, everybody. Happy Valentine's Day. Uh, okay, it says I'm live now, so um, I'll start again. Hello there, everybody. Happy Valentine's Day. Hope everyone's having a nice day and uh, you've maybe got some nice things planned with your, with your loved ones. Um, some people don't buy into Valentine's Day. Um, I don't buy into it massively, I have to say. Uh, but I just thought it would be nice to put out a, uh, a list, a Valentine's Day list. And I just wanted to do it a little bit differently. So this isn't going to be a long live video at all. And I've never seen this done before. It may have been done. I just done. wanted to do it a little bit differently. Oh, just mute myself. Um, I don't know. Hey, Ben, how are you doing? Um, I don't know if this has uh, ever been done before. Someone's done a live top 10 list. But I just thought I would give it a go and see what happens if this live broadcast falls flat on its face uh, I, I might delete it um if it um if it goes all right i'll leave it up there and it will be my valentine's day top 10 list so i'm going to get through the list reasonably quickly because uh, like i say don't want it to be a long live video i will interact with people where i can uh, for anyone who's joining i don't expect a lot of people to be joining this live because um it's that time of day where I think people in the US are maybe asleep or maybe just waking up or I'm not sure. Anyway, in the UK, most people will be at work. But this is my only opportunity to do this video. I've got a busy day today, so I'm just going to get this in quickly. Uh, hey, Harry, how you doing? What's up, NYC? OK, so the the scents that I've put on my top 10 list are um, scents that I feel are, um, are quite uh, sexy and alluring. And that work really well in uh, in close um, situations, so intimate situations. So primarily a date night, really. Uh, so all these scents, I think, will be ideal for um, going out, maybe for a nice drink or a nice bit of dinner on Valentine's Day. Okay, so let's crack on with the list. The first one on my list, and these are in no particular order. This is just uh, 10 fragrances that I think are really well suited to Valentine's Day. Uh, and by all means in the comments, let me know what you're wearing. Let me know what your top three are. Uh, even if you're not watching this live, hopefully the video is going to stay up and, uh, and you can still leave some comments on the video. So first one is Alurum Sport Extreme from Chanel. This is a beautiful fragrance. This is absolutely one of my favorites it's such a versatile fragrance it's got some kind of herbal notes in the top um i think there's a bit of uh, mandarin in there uh, a bit of mint so it's got a nice nice little bit of freshness but it's just counterbalanced really well with um some a uh, smooth rich sandalwood and tonka so this is a real this is a real sexy fragrance um, I, yeah, I love how smooth and deep it is, and I love uh, I love the kind of effervescent freshness that it has um, to counterbalance that. And uh, you could wear this any time of year, but if you wore this uh, out with your loved one uh, on a Valentine's Day, uh, I think uh, it would be very pleasing for him or her to uh, to smell. So, Allure on Sport Extreme. Let me know if you agree or disagree with any of these. That's fine. We can we can have a discussion as we're going through. Uh, can everyone hear me okay? Uh, everyone uh, here okay? Just someone let me know if, if the volume's working. So, uh, good morning, George. George, you are now a part of my Valentine's Day top 10 list, so welcome. Um, just I've just started. I'm just going through. Um, and uh, I've done my first one, which was Allure on Sport or Extreme. Uh, the next one is... Dolce & Gabbana is the one, EDP. So again, another of my favorites. Um, what I love most about this scent is the orange blossom. So I, I mean, I love the note of tobacco and this does have tobacco, even though it's not a very prominent tobacco. Um, but the the orange blossom and, um, and the amber in this is just so well done. Um, just a perfect kind of intimate scent. Um, doesn't last uh, massively. Oh God, that's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, I've not worn it in a little while. but um, So, yeah, some people complain about performance, and it isn't a beast performer at all. You'll maybe get, you know, five, six hours, but uh, if you're going out for a bit of dinner um, on a nice date, then this is uh, 
this is a good one to go for. Um, I uh, I haven't tried the um, the EDT. I've only got the EDP, so I can't I can't tell you how much better or how much stronger this one is. Um, but Dolce & Gabbana, the one, is a very sexy and sensual scent. Okay. Right. Who's coming in the room? Hi, uh, Roshdi. Um, sorry, yeah, I'm not uh, answering uh, questions about other fragrances really in this video. This is my top 10 list, so sorry about that. Uh, maybe in another video we can get into some questions. Noir de Noir is, is great, Harry. That is a, a fantastic scent. Um, so yeah, there you go. Great dumb reach for, for Casey Rudd TV. Um, awesome. So the next one on my list is one of my favorite releases from last year and it's Azaro Wanted by Night. So this one for me is mainly, it's a big old cinnamon bomb, but not in a cloying way. I think sometimes cinnamon could get a bit too screechy, but it's really um, balanced nicely with some other notes in here. There's some sharper, darker notes, some leather, uh, there's some tobacco, and it's all just done really, really smoothly. Um, I get fantastic performance from this. I get great projection, although it's never too in your face. And I think if you were sitting next to someone uh, in a nice restaurant, they would be getting lovely, um, strong wafts of this, but it would never be too much because the scent is is just so smooth and um, and very crowd pleasing. So great to smell on yourself and great for others to uh, to smell. So if you've not tried Azara Wanted by Night, one of my favorites from 2018. Boom, all right, rattling through. Okay, the next one um, is Tabat Rouge from the house of Faden. Again, we've got some cinnamon in this, uh, big note of honey in this one. Um, so uh, tobacco isn't a listed note, although I do get some tobacco, so there are other notes um, just working together in this to, to create this lovely tobacco accord, very similar to Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille. So George, the fragrance apprentice, if, um, have you tried this one, George? It'd be really interesting because I know you're a big fan of Tobacco Vanille. And if you enjoy Tobacco Vanille, you, you'll like this. It's um, very similar in its scent profile, although it's not quite as loud. I think the uh, the vanilla is more replaced with, with honey. So you get the sweetness from the honey instead of the vanilla. Um, but this is, um, yeah, I do love my tobacco fragrances, Raphael. Greggy Boy 76, good morning. Just going through my top 10 Valentines live. I don't know if that's ever been done before. Someone can tell me if it has, but I, I'd, I've never seen one, so I thought we'd go for it. Um, Tabat Rouge is um, is just refined and elegant. And I think, you know, obviously it's unisex. Uh, a guy wears this and it comes across as, um, as masculine and confident. And a girl could wear this and it would uh, come across as really feminine and sensual. So um, Tabat Rouge is a real winner for Valentine's Day. All right. Um, Next one, uh, you may have heard of this one. It's um, Creed Aventus. I mean, you can never go wrong with Creed. I think if you wore this on Valentine's Day, it would be a real winner. Um, I've never met anyone who, who doesn't like the scent profile of Aventus. Uh, it, you know, you've got the, the pineapple, the, the birch, the lovely depth of the, um, oh yeah, that's good. Mm, the lovely depth of the um, of the ambergris and of course that creed quality that comes in in all creeds and um, so if you own Aventus and you're wondering what you might wear for Valentine's Day if you're going out for Valentine's Day this evening or if you're not if you're single and you're just going out on the town to try and pull uh, Aventus would be a good choice it is Raphael yes it is a winner and uh, Casey Rudd TV is wearing Aventus to bed right now. You are a classy mofo, Casey, wearing Aventus to go to bed. Just, I mean, Aventus is, is quite costly, you know, just splashing it on like it's nothing to go to bed. So I applaud you, my friend. I applaud you. Well done. I'm going to wear Aventus to bed. Oh, Aaron's in the room. Smorgaspod. I bet that's your natural bedhead, isn't it? No, I've not just woken up. Aaron, I've actually smashed a gym session already this morning. So uh, I've been on it. Um, I've had my I've had my green tea. I've done all my spins uh, and I'm not releasing um, an office fragrance, by the way. Uh, but I have I have been to the gym. In fact, I'm showing a bit too much uh, cleavage there. Sorry, guys. 
Um, how are you doing, Aaron? <laughs> Looking like Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> Carlisle, Carlisle is a good one. I haven't, I haven't put Carlisle on this list because I, I love it. It's one of my favourites. It's a very loud and very strong, long-lasting fragrance. And I just thought maybe I was going to go with a few more kind of intimate, close quarters scents. Uh, so the next one we're going for. Uh, so we've done one, two, three, four, five. Um, so we're we're at, we're cracking on with these. Next one, Dior Homme Parfum. Who knows who knows this one? Do you prefer it to Dior Homme Intense? I love both, but I just like this one a little bit more. This is a beautifully done masculine iris scent, and what makes this masculine is um, the leather. That is balancing out the florals in this. Um, it's just, uh, it's it's quite intoxicating. There's a bit of oud in here, although it's definitely not an oudy scent. I think the oud is probably just helping to lend a bit of uh, muscularity to this fragrance because this is a muscular fragrance. This one, this one does last. It is a big performer and it is fairly loud, but it's not as loud as something like Carlisle, as I just mentioned. Um, and it's not a scent that, even though it is quite um, quite big in its performance, it's not a scent that would ever annoy anyone because it's not super sweet. Uh, yeah, David, music fan. OMG, Dior on Parfum. Um, yeah, this one's a beauty. Um, oh, it's, uh, it's going to be one of the best masculine iris scents, I think, this one. Yeah, Recharge 3 um, is five stars, and DHI, Dior on Intense, is 4.5. I'd agree with that. I would agree. Uh, so Dior en Parfum uh, would be a beautiful Valentine's Day choice. Now, the next one, we're getting a little bit sexy and, and musky. Um, I'm getting a bit excited, so I won't, I won't um, elaborate any more on the sexy muskiness of this one. Um, <laughs> but this this is a bit of booze as well. Uh, we're talking Nassimato's Baronda. Okay, Greggy Boy, yeah, the original Dior Homme. You know what? I've not smelt that in a while. I need to go back to it. And now you've mentioned that, I will definitely go back to it. I, I really um, I really want to re-smell that one now you've said that. So, yeah, Baronda. Um, so we've got musks. We've got woods. We've got a beautiful, smooth ah, oh, whiskey accord. Um, there's a, I love the resinous nature to the woods in this one. Uh, it just uh, – it, it, could, it could be – it could get a bit too – boozy and sweet but the um the woods in this just really anchor it down provide provide a really a really good base um super sensual super sexy this one um that is a tough question i think i prefer pardon a little bit more i think pardon is my favorite nasamato um i've not put pardon in here for two reasons a i don't have it and um b pardon is a little louder I think pardon is is a, is a little more of a shouty scent, maybe because of the oud in there. And uh, I decided to go with Baronda because this this is a little more intimate. And we're talking Valentine's Day. We're talking, um, you know, being close uh, in a restaurant or in a bed with um, your your partner. Um, so maybe if you're single and you're going out and you want to attract the ten the attention of others, uh, and you you you're going out to attract a mate. On Valentine's Day evening, then I think Pardon possibly would be the better option. But if you're already with someone for Nasamato, we're going with Boozy Veranda. Yeah, top ten live. I've got to go. I've got to rush out of the house uh, soon in about twenty minutes. So um, that's why I'm rattling through all these, and I want this to be a top ten video on my channel. So I don't want it to be a, a, a big long live video. Okay, now the next one. This would be good if you want to give your loved one a nice bit of Valentine's rose, okay? So this is a rose and oud fragrance. Can anyone guess what this quite new rose and oud fragrance might be? And I'll give you another clue. Hey, Tim, what's up? Good to see you. Thanks for joining in. Give you a clue. There's some saffron in this as well. This T-shirt, I should have worn a, should have worn a better top than this because it's uh, keeps falling down. Sorry. Um, no, it's not Mansara. I'm going to show you. 
Boss Bottled Oud Saffron. Uh, anyone tried this one yet? I've just got it. And you know what? I really like it. It's really good. It's got a little jamminess to the rose. Um, the oud in this is, you know, it's it's there, but it's more of a suggestion of a rose oud combo. I've smelt some some highly concentrated rose oud oil, and uh, that that was quite quite an intense smell. You know, you've got that um, barnyard uh, oud, and then um, a very very um, photorealistic rose this is much this is more dialed down than that this is a definitely a mainstream rose oud scent um got some labdanum in here which is giving it a little bit of a um leathery accord as well uh, so it's just really nicely balanced not a big note list at all in this one um i found that this i've worn this a few times now and it doesn't have a massive projection but it has good longevity this projection is quite soft which is another reason why I thought it would be good for a Valentine's Day. And uh, yeah, Craig, what's the sense in that? Thanks for joining in. You've got a sample of Boss Bottle Dude Saffron, and you say smooth, subtle, uh, but sexy. Absolutely. That is why I'm using it as um, a Valentine's Day option, and we've got it in this, this lovely red bottle. I've also got the uh, Aromatic, Boss Bottle Dude Aromatic, which I actually prefer a little bit more than this. But they're both really nice, and I will be doing a review very soon on uh, on both of these. Okay, another new release here. This is from Byron Parfums. Guys, this is just one of the best sandalwood scents I've ever smelled. Let me know uh, down here now if you've uh, smelt this one. Uh, this is The Chronic. So you've got some notes. There's some pepper. There's some cinnamon. Um, leather, patchouli, sandalwood, but I don't really pick out a lot of that. The, the things that I do get is I get this bubble gum type sweetness, but in a really good way. Never in um, never in a, a designer way where it can become a little bit synthetic, a, a little bit cloying and a little bit juvenile. It is definitely not that. This is a grown up bubble gum type of accord. And it's, it's countered with, um, I don't know if it's the, the leather or the pepper because I don't particularly get a lot of pepperiness or leatheriness from this scent but it just adds something to that sweet edge it just gives it a um just gives it a little kick particularly in its opening and it's the kind of kick that just makes you go oh wow that is what is going on in there uh and then oh, the sandalwood is so rich and smooth and natural in this if you like those types of scents if you like the sweeter type of scents, uh, then I would highly recommend this. It, it's just, it's so natural. Uh, it doesn't, it's, it smells like there's some high quality stuff inside this bottle. So uh, if, if you haven't tried the Chronic, out of, of, the, of their two newest releases, I love Oud Bourbon as well, really nice, but I prefer this one. So maybe grab some samples and try it because I think this is gonna be a bit of a, I think this might get a bit of hype. I think this is going to be quite a big hit for Byron. And this would be gorgeous to, to wear on a date night as well. And again, if you're single and you're, and you're going out and, and you're trying to attract um, a partner, this would do that because this it is quite loud and it's got a fantastic performance as well. The Chronic is a real beauty. All right, my last one. Uh, it's from the House of Amouage. Uh, this has been number one on one of my other lists on my on my spring list. Uh, there's quite a few notes in this one, but the main two things I get from this are jasmine and sandalwood. This is one of the smoothest jasmine sandalwood scents I've uh, I've ever smelled. Uh, we're talking reflection man, of course. Uh, so this is this is intoxicating and alluring. I find it to be quite a strong smell, but it is never strong to the point where it gets annoying. This is this is as far from annoying as as you could think. Um, you know, it lasts. It's ooh, oh yeah, that is um, that is really. I find this to be a really sensual scent, and when I'm wearing this, it just makes me feel good. It makes me 
makes me feel like a sexy mofo. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is um, I will put this on as my scent of the day today. Um, Reflection Man, my my, I know that these scents weren't in any particular order and they weren't really, but Reflection Man is going to be my Valentine's Day scent of the day. So I'm going to put it on now. Let's 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 apply a bit of Reflection Man for you. Um, so there's my list. There's my ten Valentine's Day fragrances. Um, I will just have a quick look through the comments just to see. Uh, I think everyone's quite nicely quiet and attentive for my top 10 list um and thank you for not going off topic away from uh, from my valentine's day top 10. Uh, comforting sense hi thanks for joining in it's just the end of the video but this will stay up on my channel because i think it went all right um so this will be on my channel for until the end of time basically so if you're thinking of um uh, choosing a scent for Valentine's Day, or even if it's not Valentine's Day, if you're watching this video after Valentine's Day and you just want a nice, sensual, alluring scent that is going to please you and it's going to please your your partner as well, then um, any of these I think would work really well. These are some of my some of my favourites and would work really well for Valentine's Day. So I'm going to go. Have a great day, everyone. If you're going out for Valentine's Day this evening, uh, I hope you've got somewhere booked because uh, if you haven't, you might struggle to get in anywhere. I'm not going out for Valentine's Day. I'm, I'm working. Uh, I'm going to work now to do some voiceover stuff and I'm, I'm going to get back quite late. So I may I may go out for um, a Valentine's dinner tomorrow night instead when it's all died down a little bit. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And I will uh, I will see you all soon. And this has been great. This has been really good fun doing this as a live. And maybe I'll do these in the future because it means I get a top 10 video out there without having to do any editing, which can take a long time sometimes. <laughs> Have a great day, everybody. Great to uh, see you all joining the chat. And uh, I will see you soon. Goodbye.